harder, harder. Um, yeah, more PS1 games. This time the E's. Uh, E's are good, as uh, the shaman once said, and that wasn't rehearsed at all. <laughs> um, only five games. Shouldn't take too long. One or two interesting things in there. Um, sorry, bro. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, some decent, maybe slightly unknown games that probably deserve a wider audience. I don't know. Um, that's, you can make your own mind up. Uh, although, uh, no. <laughs> maybe that's not what I'm here to help you do. So, and it's not your own... Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll, 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 I'll ignore that train of thought and I'll carry on with this one. Um, <laughs> right. First one. First of five, uh, in the CT Special Forces series, but under a different name, it's uh, Elite Squad, um, also known as CT Special Forces 2 Back to Hell. Um, these are the two main characters that you get to control. No, actually one of them is called... I've got, they've got two names, I can't remember, I can never remember what they're called. But um, yeah, it's very similar to, I suppose, the one... The other one I showed you was CT Special Forces 3. Um, they don't really vary that much. I mean, there's the, the sort of similar format, they're similar, they outwardly look like um, Metal Slug. V visually look like Metal Slug, but um, sort of reined in Metal Slug. Metal Slug could, that could be do with some more beef, you know. Um, it's. Uh, so I'm actually looking at it in my viewfinder. So if that's why I'm looking down, that's where I'm looking. Um, <laughs> what to say about it? Um, no, uh, they're worth all, like 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 the the other game, CG Special Forces Three, and I'm guessing the first one, but I've not got it. Um, they're worth all games. Um, don't expect Metal Slug, even though there's undeniable visual visual similarities. Um, they're Rough around the edges, definite budget releases. Rough around the edges, sort of technically and aesthetically, um, to the point where, like the third game, I think that that sort of slightly rough edge means that you you can't charge through the game like you would with the Metal Slug. It's you know there's less beef to the to the whole action generally. It's a bit more controlled and reined in, um, a bit more political. If anything, I mean I think. Um, Metal Slug's more of a sort of like a fantasy setting. This Elite Squad has definitely got a real world, real world setting. This one especially, because um, there's right at the beginning of the game. There's a world map, and it's an actually sort of of the globe, and it shows. I think it's East Africa. I think it's Somalia. So, I mean, that's a bit iffy in my book. You know, it's essentially your um, it's political, and I don't think these these games really have. You know, they're, they're not these sorts of games shouldn't really, or any video games should, shouldn't really make any sort of political comments, should they? Basically, you go and taking them out, you go and shoot Somalis, I think, <laughs> or they, you know, but I think that's the sort of the insinuation or terrorists who are in Somalia, but the actual gameplay is. Pretty varied. Um, you start off it's you start off it's a bit more of a platform than, than the third game because you, there's more sort of jumping and you have to climb up buildings and stuff. Whereas the first game you just run along a run along a train. Um, similar sorts of characters, you know, uh, the character models don't change. Um, uh, I think there's more um, driving sections. There's they're, they're, they're sort of the game. There's often variation in the gameplay. I mean, they almost come in the form of mini games. There's um, a section where you're on the back of a, a truck and you have to defend the back of the truck. Actually, the first section of this game is um, a really rudimentary shooter, which is sort of sort of a slight. It was a nice variation actually. But you're basically you're a helicopter and you have to. It's an escort mission. You have to protect um, uh, a convoy of trucks. And then it progresses on to the next part of the game from there. And then you're you're just on foot. And then you're on the back of a truck. And then I think the, th I think the third section, this is almost like a to perfectly integrated mini-game where you, you, run your, you get to the top of the building and you have to jump off it and wait there. I can hear my cat scratching the door. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Believe it or not, yesterday I spent forty quid on one of those um, one of those things that's supposed to chill your cat out because um, he, he's taken to he's, he's, he likes a scent mark in all over the house, but that doesn't seem to have worked. We're not we're not here about that. <laughs> anyway, Elite Squad. Um, yeah. It's it's undeniably a budget title, but but worthwhile. But uh, you know, for anybody who likes to run run gunners, but you don't expect anything mind blowing in on the lines of you know as something as mind blowing as as a metal slug. Um, there were, I'm sure there was other things I wanted to say. That was it. Yeah, I was going to say, you get to the top of the building and um, you uh, you base jump off the top of the building. And it's it's the same it's the same um, parachuting mechanic that you get in the, the, right at the beginning of number three, where you have to line up the, these sort of little gauges and then press the release button right right the, just exactly the right time. But um, problem with that is on this game they have all these little um, these little walkie talkies that you have to pick up, and it'll, it'll give you instructions of what to do. And I couldn't remember how to do it the first time I played. I ran right past it. Ran right past it, jumped off the edge of the building because it told me to. Because you know, I'm, I'll, I'll do that sort of thing. If someone tells you to jump off a cliff, I would. Um, jumps off the edge of the building, couldn't remember how to deploy the parachute and died. So you have to pick up these little walkie talkies to tell you how to do all the sort of the different sort of mini games. Otherwise, you know, otherwise you're screwed like me. But Elite Squad, it's uh, CT Special Forces 2. Um, an RPG, tactical RPG, it's sort of like a tactical monster training RPG. It's called Eternalize by Sunsoft. Um, interesting. Interesting. Um, character models are... The, the, the artwork's um, very much in sort of the anime vein. Um, the main character is... Um, you know, it's sort of the very t sort of traditional anime. Um, it's, you're, it's a tactical RPG. Um, you... You have these things called magical puppets. I think they're, I think they're in the game. In the game, they're called mappets, which I think means magical puppets. And I think that they, they start off as sort of like a core, like a wooden, like an artist's model, as in the little wooden thing for like a, for like life drawing. You know, things you get in art shops. Well, you know, I don't want to talk about. Them. <laughs> and you can, um, that's the core, and you can sort of build them from there, and you can, you can. Um, You, you you get these gems that you can. <laughs> this is another one I I, I need to explain. Um, well, at, at its core, it's a tactical RPG. You 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 have one main character and he controls three of these magical puppet things. So you only really have sort of four controllable characters at the same time. And the main strength comes in these magical puppets because the actual main character is a bit a bit weak. And. Um, yeah, you. You see my neighbours. It's my neighbour's house. Um, during the game, you get these little gems, and you can sort of almost like uh, you can augment your magical puppets with these gems, and you can augment them in sort of all these different ways. And each coloured gem uh, will affect a different um, a different stat on your on your little magical puppets, and you can you can start from scratch again, and you can you can sort of. Uh, but they, they fight for you in essence, um, and yeah, the artwork's pretty good. I mean, the actual it's a tactical RPG, but the um, there's there's actual um, exploration in towns, which I like because I always think tactical RPGs are missing something. When aside from the actual battles, the rest of the game is all dialogue boxes and menus, which I always think is a bit slightly unsatisfactory unsatisf in in a certain sense, but. Um, this does have um, exploration, um, but this is quite rudimentary, and you get to talk to people, and you get to go in shops and stuff like that. But other than that, but the actual battles, um, the actual battles, are, you know, they're, they're okay. I think they they improve as the the game gets further on. I think you're always outnumbered. You always sort of seem to look like you're on onto a loser, but um, uh, but then I think in the end, sort of the the, the final. Um, Levels almost seem like I don't know. I mean, you you can build up your character to such an extent that um, you don't really have to move anywhere. I mean, you can just you've got to have all these uh, like Final Fantasy style um, 
like summons magics, summons magic, and you can you almost you can take out all your all your enemies in one go. Well, that's how it seems, but I'm not actually completed it, so maybe I need to get through to the end to see you know what um, changes. But can I don't think I'll be able to see. Yeah, it's sort of like Pokemon type characters. All these, I think these are the ones you get at the beginning. But yeah, it's basically on a sort of it's isometric. It's based on a grid. It's colourful, but um, there you go. All these sorts of characters. Yeah, these are all these, are, you know, and you can sort of augment them with gems and things, and they they also level up, you know, through experience. But anyway, right, these next two won't take too long. Um, everybody's golf, and everybody's golf two. Everybody's golf two. One of these has got cracks. There you go. Look, cracks. You can't really see. You can't feel them. You can just see them there. Not good. Which one is it? Um, yeah, golf games. Like, these are the only two golf games. I think the only two golf games I've got. I mean, I'm not against. I'm not against sort of golf games, sports games. I mean, especially golf games are sort of relaxing, and I keep these. I keep these around because they're they're really nice just to chill out with. Um, preference of the two. I mean, obviously arcadey, and you know uh, they have sort of the all the arcadey trappings. They're not. Um, they're not um, simulations by any stretch of the imagination. Um, preference is probably everybody's golf too, because it's a bit more laid back. This one has a soundtrack that just is pretty much in your face, and it does tend, take to tend, tend to take the edge off the rela relaxation that you'd you'd expect. Um, this one it has a nice. I prefer the sort of tweeting bird, wind gusts sort of gusting wind soundtrack. Score and music. That does have music. Actually, you could probably turn the music off this. I've never really checked, but I just music used to do my head in. So <laughs> that's the only reason I prefer these. But they're um, worthwhile golf games. You know, if if you're not if you're not too proud to have golf games in your, in your collection, then these are two worthwhile ones. Um, you know, well, the other the, the, op the other options are Tiger Woods or you know actual golf, but they're they're a nice alternative, a nice arcade arcade alternative. I mean. Depends on what you play golf games, golf games for. Do you like just the relaxation and the sort of the arcadey experience? Then maybe they're your sort of thing. Finally, probably um, the game I've I've played the most. I've spent a lot of time in this in this game. Um, bit of a sleeper hit, in my opinion. Quite a unique fighter. Um, polygon three D one sort one on one three D polygonal fighter. It's called Evil Zone. Evil Zone. That's uh, there's a voiceover that goes. It's this gruff guy, gruff American guy, and he's got these dogs like this, and he goes evil zone. Um, yeah, uh, one on one fighter, um, anime presentation. Uh, it's really unique in in many senses, actually. I think the storyline's slightly sort of superfluous, but um, I think you've got this character here. She's like this evil witch, and all it, and uh, she. So don't summons all the all these fighters come to come to this place called Evil Zone in order to fight each other and to to be able to beat her. But you know it's, it's that sort of half art storyline. But um, the 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 actual real hook of the game is that the only the only apart from the D pad, there's no analog controls. No analog controls. Apart from the D pad, you only use two buttons. You use the triangle and the square. Yeah, triangle and square, um, triangle to attack and square to defend, square to block, and the actual moves are um, uh, come in conjunction with sort of uh, D-pad presses, button presses, and where you are in relation to your your enemy and how many times you press the button, how many times you hold or how long you hold the button down for. So, for instance, you know, like you can. Press the attack button three times, and, and um, it'll throw projectiles. Because actually, a big part of this game is projectiles. It's a one-on-one -on -one fighter, and there are melee attacks when you get closer to your opponent. But um, away from your opponent, it's more about the projectiles. And depending on how far you're away from your opponent, how you press the button, which which um, direction you press the the D-pad in conjunction with the attack button, it gives you a, a certain um, certain attack. Um, it's really fluid, as as a uh, as um one on one fighters go, three uh, D fighters go. It's really fluid, really fast, um, surprisingly fast. Um, uh, you have to block in this. It's you won't really get anywhere without blocking because you get your ass kicked even by the, the sort of first character. And you learn to block, and it's quite tactical. You have like reversal moves and stuff like that. 
and each fight feels like a proper fight. I mean, eventually it's, it doesn't take that long to get to used to the, the battle system, and um, but once you do, and you can get through the game pretty easily, but it's still each fight st- feels like a proper sort of sort of hard hard fought battle rather than you know like like in Tekken for instance Tekken Tekken two Tekken three you can get through the first five fights just with your eyes closed button bashing I mean my mate my mate completed Tekken three using Eddie Gordo when he's drunk one night just with the eyes closed just button bashing you wouldn't be able to do that in this game um, yeah uh, yeah there are reverses there are lots of different sorts of um, attacks you have these sort of charge not charge attacks so there's sort of gem attacks you can press the attack button to, to to charge up you've got your little life bar either side it's a vertical rather than the traditional horizontal the vertical and as it as you lose sort of a life it obviously goes down but you can charge you can charge um, you can do sort of like you can charge up by holding your finger on the attack button and, the, and this little gauge charge, um, rises up to the top of the amount of life you've still got left. So if you've only got a tiny bit, you can charge, and it only takes a little bit of time to charge up. And you get these, th- these, every time you do that once, you get a little gem. You can have up to three gems, and each gem is like a special attack. And you can, they're really powerful special attacks, and you can, uh, you know. Then, what else can I say about this game? Um, when, every time you are... Uh, uh, complete or you release a special attack um the the opponent can block it or if it hits if it hits it then you get like this sort of quite impressive animation um and you can do obviously you do it you can do it more than once but the good thing about this game is is that the animations change perspective it will be the same attack but you can see it from a different perspective and it gives it a really dynamic feel which i really like um what else can i say uh, oh, there was something I was going to say. <laughs> what is it? Um, the characters, the actual presentation, I like as well because it's it's the story, the story um, mode. There's lots of modes. There's about different modes. Lots of unlockables once you've completed the story mode. Lots of unlockables. Um, but the story mode, um, each if you complete or if you, depending on what character you pick, it plays out like a, its own anime. Like, um, this character here, he's um, he's uh, a bounty hunter, and it's called. I think his his story is called the Bounty Hunter, and it plays out like a, it plays out like a, an anime. And each each fight is like a, um, each fight is an episode of an anime. So there there's only eight characters and, and a boss. So essentially, it's like um, nine episodes of an anime, and then a final fight. You know. It's really interesting, and in between every fight, every fight there's voiceovers, and this one is is, is quite funny because um, he's actually a he's he's a bit of a twat, in, you know, in you know in reality, but <laughs> he, he's the voiceovers are conversations between him and his wife, and they get a bit surreal. I think one of them after the fourth fight is about um, his wife trying to make make him eat lobster. It's really weird. This the character at the other end, so the character the other side of that one, him. He's like the sort of the main good guy, but he's 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 called Dan Ziver and he shouts a lot. Makes him makes him a bit of a knob, but he's supposed to be like he's he looks like a, the Red Power Ranger. The um I think the characters are nicely realised, quite traditional, um in a sense, but I think they're nicely realised and they're nicely balanced. Um I think the, the American version was uh, edited slightly or or not edited, um uh, toned down slightly because there's a character in it. I don't think you, you see. I know you're not. Um, there's a character in it. I can't remember her name, but she's um, in the this version and probably the Japanese version. She's got her ass out. She's, she's got a big pair of tits, but she's got her ass out as well. Um, in this version, they they left her with her ass out. In the American version, they covered her up and gave her a pair of tights. So, you know, it's it's pretty childish in that sense. And there's lots of um, there's a schoolgirl character who who flashes her underwear a lot. And stuff like this, and there's a female wrestler who, who often has her ass to the camera. <laughs> That's the sort of attitude that you got with this game. But the actual game surrounding it is really good. I really enjoy it. Um, it again, obviously, with the two con- two buttons, two control buttons, it will be basic. It takes initially takes a bit of getting used to, and I think it's, it's probably more varied. It's probably more varied um, than you'd expect from something with two buttons, but as far as as far as 
being satisfactory for somebody who's really into their fighters, it might be a bit lacking, but for everyone else, people like me, um, it's it's really accessible. And it does it will take a bit of mastering because the last few stages do get a bit tough. But but no, I really enjoy this. I've been playing this a lot recently. It's by Titus, I think, but there you go. Just five, just to note another crack in one of my cases. Yeah. Both the every everybody's golf needs needs replacement. So there you go, just those five. Evil zone, everybody's golf, one, two, internalize and elite squad. Yeah. Um number uh, number B, number two. <laughs> <laughs> not only not only did I say number, but I also said B, and it's not B, it's um, what's next, F. There's a few more Fs, so that will take a while. Um, after that, the Gs and sort of the Hs and Fs, they're only small, so they, they'll be short. So it's actually took longer than I thought it'd be. I thought it'd do, but. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, look out for part F. These are good. Thanks for watching. See you later.